Tim Jenkins is the co-founder of Point B, a project management firm with offices in seven cities. Point B was recently recognized by the Wall Street Journal as one of its best places to work. Tim was an early reader of Brain Rules, so I asked him to share his takeaways as a business consultant. Take a look. Well, I think the problem is that we don't know a lot about how the brain works. I mean, certainly as a layperson, I don't know much of, at all. And even the scientists will, will say that we only know a, a bit about what, how the brain works. Uh, by the same token, a lot of the scientists aren't as familiar with some of the business, the things that are happening in the business world. I think what Brain Rules does is it, it starts to, to bridge that gap, brings the two sides together and says, here's what we know, and here's what we do, and how can we potentially do things better given what we know? It's a win-win idea. Uh, businesses are already struggling with high health care costs, and they understand that helping their, their employees exercise more is going to help with that. And plus, it's just good business if you, you want your employees healthy and productive. Uh, but I think that what people hadn't grasped is that you can actually make your business more intellectually powerful, potentially by getting people moving. And the idea of getting people moving during the workday is really novel. I think most people assume that the exercise should happen outside of work hours. And what the brain rule is telling us is that exercise should happen literally as you are working. And I think for in a white collar environment in particular, that's a very radical concept. What the brain rule is telling us is that every customer's brain is different and every employee's brain is different. And so what that means for us is that the, the old mass production, uh, everyone can have a, a, any color they want as long as it's black, it just doesn't hold. You have to essentially mass customize. You have to make sure that you can provide solutions that fit each customer's needs individually. And similarly, when you're working with people, you have to work with them as individuals, not as, uh, not as some mass. Advertising is something that I think we, we understand that you know, repetition has been important for years to, to repeat in order to remember. And, and any good ad person will tell you the more repetitions, the better you're going to do. Uh, but I think where business hasn't really applied this brain rule is in the training realm. And there's often this assumption that you can attend training once and it's locked in. And what the brain rule is telling us is that there's, there, you need to use the same principles as advertising. It's, a lot, it's about repetition at intervals, layering in things you know, on top of a base so you get that over and over again. And we've seen that in, in certain blue-collar occupations, um, obviously skills are developed that way through repetition and, and additional knowledge being uh, layered in. I think in the... In the um, in the white collar realm, that's not always the way that things are taught. And I think that we definitely have some opportunity to improve the way that training is conducted. Well, at point B, it's interesting. Uh, we've often said we're a 24 seven firm. And it's not because everyone is working 24 seven, but at any given time, somebody's working. And what it means is we've got a mix of, of night owls and morning people. And some people just find that there's more productive times of the day. And so you'll see the timestamps from them at. 5 a.m. versus the night owls that have a timestamp at 2 a.m. And uh, one's just starting the day and one's just finishing the day. And we've seen over and over again that, that if we allow people to work at their most productive time of day, they're happier and they're more productive. Well, today, we certainly aren't trying to create brain-unfriendly businesses, but I think we've, we've let ourselves fall into that trap. Uh, what, we, what we see is progress, the technology, the multitasking we're finding is actually distracting us and it's keeping us from operating at our full capabilities. Nobody is saying that the technology is bad. Clearly there's some good things that come with technology, but there's a lot of brain unfriendly aspects to it as well. I can see 10 years from now, uh, sitting in a boardroom, totally undistracted, listening to a vibrant presentation, multi-sensory, no bullet points. I'm on my treadmill. I get to take a nap at 2.30. We break for the nap. and. Uh, I'm sniffing the corporate smell throughout. And uh, it, it may sound funny, but in fact, it, it, we may be more effective if we allow ourselves to do those things.